having liberated the hourglass and become keeper of time, my next task was to restart history. Not beholden to past events, I was free to craft a new era. It was with humility and restraint that I approached this blank canvas. After careful preparation, I began work, painting over the darkness. After eons passed, I sketched out the realms. After eons more, I brushed them in with life. In my new era, all beings will have the opportunity to find peace. Whether or not they do, will be their responsibility. For my power only permits me to begin this endeavor. It is the duty of mortals to finish it. is about to be rewarded for I have saved the best for last I have recently discovered a cure-all of unrivaled potency it will soon be on the shelves in every home of Outworld this elixir is crafted from an ancient recipe it has Patreon flowers Margovian nectar powdered teeth of an Arctican dragon all this and more, infused with powerful Lycorian magic. There is a village in the next canton over, where everyone has purchased this miracle cure. Overnight, all diseases, even Tarkat, have disappeared. Now magic this potent is expensive. And I am sure you're asking yourselves, can I afford it? But the true question you must ask is, can I afford to be without it? You lie, Shang Tsung. Your cures are useless. I'm sorry. You are... Someone fool enough to have believed you. My daughter was dying when you came to my farm. You promised a miracle, and I gave you all I had. But only days later... She was dead. <laughs> that is impossible. My magic could not have failed her. There was no magic! I took your elixir to an Imperial mage, and you know what she said? <laughs> it's nothing! Just Borjang tea! The mage is mistaken, kind sir. My elixirs are of superior quality. Their efficacy is guaranteed. Blackwater folk are far more likely to trust a kindly old man. You're on behalf of a dissatisfied customer. If it's revenge you want, have at it. If it's restitution, there's nothing left. What I want, Shang Tsung, is to elevate you 
to make you the great sorcerer that now you can only pretend to be. A generous offer. Why me? You are uniquely resilient. Who else could eke out a living traveling Outworld's hinterlands, selling quack cures and fake magic? <laughs> a living? It is barely survival. And you were meant for more. To live among kings, not peasants. But since before you were born, you have been conspired against by those who fear how formidable you could become. How do you know this? Who are you? I am your deliverer, Shang Tsung. Join me, and I will put the realms at your feet. This is a good harvest, Kung Lao. Yes. <clears throat> it is a blessing, Raiden. You would rather we starve? No, no, of course not. But we've worked these fields since we were kids. In 40 years, we'll still be here. Stooped and feeble like old man Wei. <clears throat> as long as I've known you, you've dreamed of leaving Fengjian. Why can't you be happy here? Our ancestors fought in great wars. They died with honor and glory. Stories of our great adventures <laughs> will be passed down for generations. It may not be glorious, but what we do helps the village thrive. I know. But is it so wrong to want some excitement? If that's what you want, may I suggest a bet? Dinner at Madame Beau's tonight. Last to fill their cart pays. You work faster than me? Ha! Since when? You're on, Raiden. That is amazing. I am starving. I wonder what Madame Bo is making tonight. For you two, whatever you want. Thank you, Madame Bo. You spoil us. Like the sons I never had. Have you two been practicing my lessons? As we can. The harvest leaves us little time for martial arts. Since your first words, Kung Lao, you've mouthed nothing but excuses. If you fail to prepare... Your preparations will fail you. Good. You haven't forgotten. But we'll see if I make you anything special tonight. I'm glad you're paying. Madame Bo might just pad the bill with her anger. I am paying? You finished work last. But I delivered my cart first. Delivered? The bet was filled. That's not what I remember. So that's how it is, eh? What do you say we settle this man to man? Hmm? <laughs> Wait, you mean fight? Yes. Right here, right now. Madame Bo can watch, critique our form. All right, let's do this. Let's get into it. Got Luke Kane chilling in the back. Fair enough. We must be careful. Madame Bo will kick us out if we break something. <laughs> oh, this won't last long enough for that to happen. I wonder how this is going to play. I am a very casual player of Mortal Kombat. Oh, okay, okay. I'm Kung Lao. I, I thought I was starting out as Raiden at first, but hey, I play as my boy Kung Lao. We don't. Ooh. 
we don't we don't have the we don't have the blaze on the hat yet. This is a new universe, so we about to um, get into it here. But yeah, I'm very casual at Mortal Kombat, so don't um, think that's gonna uh, I'm gonna pull off any spectacular moves here. Uh, I will try my best. Ooh, you see that? I hit that. I hit that Don Donnie Yang on the in the chest. <laughs> But yeah, I am uh, very casual with it, so we will um, we will try our best to try to do something, make it entertaining. But if you expect something to be marvelous, you got to go somewhere else, man. You got to hit the pros for that. I love to play Mortal Kombat because of the, believe it or not, uh, a fighting person. This is uh, going to be very like I like the story. So you know, I play NK11, nine. Actually, I got into it in like yeah mk9 so i've been with the story for a minute so might as well keep going with it right but anyway we got the first win look like rating won't pick up the beat haven't beaten me yet the day's coming come now <laughs> keep telling yourself that you were hungry <clears throat> oh everything was delicious madam bo Thank you, Raiden. You boys are always a pleasure to cook for. Madam Bo, the Lin Kuei await your answer. I have been busy, Smoke. The Lin Kuei? Who are they? Don't know, but I don't like where this is going. What do we do? Stay ready. Madam Bo, it is a simple choice. Pay for our protection, or risk harm to this fine establishment. You'll get nothing from me. That, Madam Bo, is unfortunate. Matter bow with that left. Oh, well. <laughs> GG's for Madam Bow, but I'm guessing the Luke K. Uh, I, I mean, not the Lin Kuei. Were they thugs? They can't be thugs, man. Oh, boy, smoke came out the blue. You two are brave, but I are we able to pick, or are we just gonna be Kung Lao? We don't care who you are or who you are with. You will not menace Mad We're gonna be our boy Kung Lao. Let's get it. Alright, let's see what we can do here. Oh, okay, that's that's it. Okay. Okay, I need to I just wasted my whole Oh, oh, okay. Smoke, chill out. We don't need you turning up here, man. Okay. Hit him with the foot. Let's see what we can do here. I'm trying to trying to get the See what I can. Oh got him. I like that. I like that. Come on, how much you want? There you go. Give him the um Come on. You picked the wrong person to extort, Ruffian. Woo! But yeah, I'm, I'm interested to see what they're gonna do in this um into this um universe. Not universe, but this, this timeline now. Uh, since we know at the end of uh, MK11 that um, Luke K became the uh, the time person, but also in the aftermath DLC, they you know they did pop out with that. Uh, Cause I remember correctly, was it Shane Shun? Shane Shun won it, two, or he beat up Luke Kang. All I know in the base game that um, Luke Kang was uh, became the time person, keeper of time. Honestly, I'm surprised too. Come on, let's help Madame Bo. Yeah, we need the real, the real one. And there go a real one right there. I need somebody real to test my abilities on how I fight here. And we got two of the OGs. How does he do that? I have no idea. 
You interfere with Lin Kuei business. Leave, or face our wrath. Abandon Madame Bo. Not happening. Woo, came down with the off the top ropes. Say your line. You know you want to say it. There we go. Came over there with that kick to the face. Want more? I have plenty. You should have fled when you could. Prepare to regret ever crossing the Lin Kuei. Fight. I think I'm good. I already. Ooh, okay. See, so you got a little teleportion. Teleportation. Yeah, whatever. All right. But, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not. I'm, like I said, I'm a very, very casual Mortal Kombat player, but I'm also very casual in the lore as well. Oh my god. Oh my. Okay, yeah. The Scorpion's kind of turning up right now. He kind of spamming that move a little bit. So we got to go ahead and put him down because he is spamming it. Come on, stop blocking. There we go. Got a fatal blow. I got to watch that so I know. Oh, yeah. You know, with the rolling fist. I'm not regretting this. I can't wait till Kung Lao be able to get his, you know, his hat. I love his hat, man. Like I, I play with Kung Lao a lot, even in the, in the older ones, especially in MK11. I'm playing with him a lot, especially in online mode, casually in online. Barely touch ranked in online because I did not want them hands. <laughs> but yeah, I, I wasn't. I was always like a, a Tekken player. You know, I never really got into Mortal Kombat that much because Tekken was always around the house. So I was more of a Tekken guy, but I, I do love all the fighting games, Street Fighter and Mortal Kombat. And Killer Instinct, so. So we still got Sub-Zero. Putting hands on Raiden. Like this sub zero is about his business. <laughs> Not yet, Kung Lao. Not yet. Incompetent. That works. That might give you an idea. <laughs> I have had enough of you. Then go before I put you down like the rest of your Lin Kuei. You haven't a prayer against the Lin Kuei's grand. Let's see how uh, Sub Zero is. Is he going to cheese? Okay, he hit me with the slide. Okay, okay, now he's going to be blocking. Mm. Okay. Trying to get him too whenever they're in the air. I'm trying to get him where I can get my hit my attacks on. Him. Maybe I can't. <laughs> I'm not that skilled. There we go. Probably probably had to look over a couple of good. Damn! Sub Zero, ch chill. Sub Zero, chill, chill out. We don't need you to do all that yet, Sub. There you go. Hit with that uppercut. Sorry, but I have to ask. Can anyone? Put him down, put him down! Uh, Gotta put him down here. He get, he get, ooh, okay, he get, give me the slide. Yeah, but um Probably gonna have to look up some of them YouTube tutorials about how to uh how to get better at Mortal Kombat, how to juggle and uh, oh my god. That cameo. How to, uh, how to juggle. Ooh, I, that, that's a nice one I did right there. Man. Do figure out how to do it, but I guess not. But hey, Are we got you it. Sure, you're a grandmaster. Yep, you thinking about it? Yeah, get the blaze on the hat. Interesting. Hang Lao, over here. Madame Bo, she's out cold. Oh no, is she? Dead? Not yet. Madam Bo, how are you? Kung Lao.
So, Madame Bo, are they ready? A bit thick in the head, perhaps. But they are ready. His eyes are glowing. I am Lord Liu Kang, God of Fire and Protector of Earthrealm. God? Earthrealm? Madame Bo has been preparing you for this moment since you were boys. Today, you have proven worthy of joining my champions. This fight was... a test? Of your ability and character, yes. Li Han, Kui Liang. So these two aren't thugs? The Lin Kuei is a centuries-old clan dedicated to Earthrealm's defense. You keep saying Earthrealm. Don't you mean Earth? You boys have so much to learn. Earth is only a part of Earthrealm. Earthrealm itself is one of many realms. Together, they comprise the whole of the universe. The realms can be fierce, bitter rivals. That's why we need champions to defend ours. The time draws near for the Grand Martial Arts Tournament between Earthrealm and the Realm of Outworld. Held once each century, it allows each realm to demonstrate its strength. While our realms are at peace, there are Outworlders who would prefer us to be at war. Our victory in the tournament will temper their zeal. I've taught you everything I can. You must finish your training with Lord Liu Kang. More training? These two couldn't defeat us. <laughs> <laughs> what? They were pulling their punches. Had we not held back, you would not have survived. Come. The monks at the Wuxi Academy await to continue your tutelage. I am ready, Lord Liu Kang. And you, Raiden? Li Feng Jian? I'm needed here. Earthrealm needs you, Raiden. You'll best serve the village by being one of its champions. I understand. Excellent. I will join you soon. First, there are other champions I must gather. <laughs>